Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters identical in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. The king! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! All right, the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to in the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Just missed with the elbow there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch from the clinch. Just misses with the straight right. What a body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, stiff jab in the face. There's another. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful body kick land right on the elbow. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Connects with a right. Another clinch position. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Defense there, huge block for him. Straight punch lands. Attempts the front kick there. Oh. Trying to pass here, but Kembe Matumbo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Back to his feet. Oh, big elbow. Wow, massive uppercut. Keep pushing forward. Let's go. That will land it clean. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Lands a nice one, too. Fifteen seconds to go. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Unable to connect it. What a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the side. I mean, it was defensive, really. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fighting. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into his trigger. What a punch. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He lands a big knee to the body. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick. Now. Big leg kick land. Punch to the body is blocked. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much wow. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful. 
beautiful punches to the head. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Nice head kick. Oh, Superman punch! Bleeding from his cheek now. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Good stick. Got a single collar tie. Oh, huge Superman punch. And they clinch once again. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Dig and kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big head kick lands. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Beautiful body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Nice leg kick. Good punch. Liver kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Good punch land. Round three next. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! What a fantastic stroke! Oh! Single collar tie here. Big kick land. Oh, Superman punch. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Just missed with that right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Big right hook 
come and it's locked. Beautiful leg kick throw. And he continues to work the body here. Big body kick land. Pretty significant well to the left side. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Misses with that punch. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, nice. Flips that left hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. He didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making it down. Looks a little awkward on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Back to the stand up now, both fighters upright. Trying to kick the leg out. Big kick lands. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Just out of the range with that right hand. 30 seconds to go. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 15 seconds. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand count. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body. And eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Plus, right hand is true. Oh! It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win.
there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, the right, so There he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.